So this is the portable mini washer um, that I purchased here from Amazon. I gotta say that I was kind of skeptical at first about buying it, but I did read a lot of reviews and a couple of people posted videos and that was very, very helpful for me to make my decision to purchase it. So I thought I'd do a video too, just to show someone in case they were not sure about purchasing this little machine. But I gotta say, I like it a whole lot. Um, we just moved into an apartment from renting a house. So having a washer and dryer down in the basement was very convenient and making the adjustment to an apartment and not having a washer and dryer this thing works out like really great for us so we don't have to always run to the laundromat when we have quick little small loads that we want to do just here in the apartment as you can see i have it in my bathtub and that's because it has the little drain holes here here wait let me let me scoot it over a little bit so it has the little drain holes there that drains off the water so I figured the best place to put it is in the bathtub so you don't have to worry about the holes reaching the sink or anything like that and as long as you have it on a flat surface then you're fine so it's like I said it's really great I really like it right now we just have like a little small load in there that I've been washing um, I don't have it on right now because it's kind of a little loud it's not really loud in the house but it'll be loud for the video um, but I will turn it on to show you how it works and how it cleans the clothes so I just let my clothes soak in there and this is the spin side of the machine where the clothes go once you get done washing them in here you put them here so that you can spin them dry well they don't spin completely dry this isn't a dryer but it just spins the excess water off of the clothes so that they're dry enough for you to actually hang to finish drying and they dry pretty quickly because this thing kind of it kind of spins them and gets them pretty much dry um, this thing right here is very important for the little spin cycle side because once you put clothes in here this goes down on top of the clothes like you just put it down in there like that and push it down on top of the clothes because this kind of since this thing spins like it does in a washing machine this kind of holds the clothes in place so this isn't spinning like all over the place and you put that down in there and close this and then you just select the the spin timer the time that you like it to spin um so i'll show you how it works actually so right now i have it turned to standard so you put it on standard when you want to do your uh, load that's in there. It has a soft um, switch also. So if you're washing delicates, you can put it on soft so it doesn't spin them as much. And then this is the drain setting. So once you turn it to drain, when the clothes are done washing, you turn it to drain and all the water, the dirty water will drain out of here. And this is your wash timer. And so I have clothes in here that have been in there soaking with soap and they've actually went a couple of rounds, but it's noisy. So I just wanted to show you how the machine works and I'll turn it on now. So you just kind of turn this, set the timer, you can set it all the way here to the 15 if you like. And this is how it works. It I'm going to talk a little louder because the machine is probably drowning out my voice, but this is how it works to actually wash the clothes. And they're just washing in there right in my bathtub. So, and it kind of alternates the direction of the spinning and while it's washing. So I gotta say this thing is pretty neat. It's a lifesaver actually. It saves us from having to pack up a bunch of clothes and take them to the laundry room. So So I'm just 
gonna turn that off. I just wanted to show you. And then this is the water inlet. So there's actually a tube that I'll show you here. There's actually a tube that you connect to the machine and to the water inlet. You collect, connect this end here. And this other end is actually supposed to go onto your faucet so that you can fill the machine with water. But as you can see, my tub faucet is not small enough for this. So I don't even use this thing to fill the machine with water. I actually um, just use an old picture, just an old Kool-Aid picture. And I um, put water in here and I pour it into the top of the machine before I start it. And then when I get enough water in there for the load that I'm doing, I put the soap in and then I set the timer. So these have already washed and so I'm going to let them finish because I'm So once they're done, then I'll turn, end up turning this from standard to drain. And once you turn this to drain, all of your dirty water drains out here off of the clothes and it drains through that tube, which is why I have this in the bathtub, so it can just go down the drain. And then what I like to do is once this drains, I fill this up again with clean water, and then I'll set the timer back to 15 so it can do my rinse cycle, so that it rinses, you know, more of the soap out of the clothes. And then once it's done rinsing, Again, just turn this to drain so it drains that water off. And then you're all set. And then once you're done, you transfer the holes over to this side of the machine so that you can spin them. And then once they're done spinning, you can take them and you hang them on your uh, stick dryer until they dry. And I usually do loads at night. And so then by the time they spin, and I hang them on my stick dryer. They're dry in the morning. So this was a great purchase. I'm glad that I bought it. And you definitely should give it a try. You should definitely buy it if you're looking at it and if you're thinking about it. You'd be very satisfied.